What's up, Wayne Baron? Have a dark face. .net, and we are still in Adobe InDesign. This is lesson number six of our series. Okay, so let's say that we are working with our headers and subheaders, and we want to add a subheader over here. So, what we can do is that we can choose Alt, and we can drag it over here, and it will stay. Okay, so it's going to create a duplicate right over here, and as long as you hold down the Alt key, it is going to copy that one over yonder, and it's going to keep its its positioning just over on the other page. However, it's not the best way to do it. The best way to do it, let's go ahead and close out of our pages right quick. The best way to do it is to come over here to the top. Let's move this up just a little bit. Come over here to our guides, okay? This is our ruler guide. So come over here and just click. And if you click, you can drag down this joker. Okay, so if you see here, if we grab and we drag it into the middle of the page or anywhere on the page, it's going to stay in that page only. Okay, if we come on the outside, it goes across both pages. So that's what we want. We want to go across both pages. Not on the single page, but on both pages. So we want to come down to here to the bottom of our actually let's drag that back up let's hit control Z uh, let's see let's come out and in okay, what we want to do is that we actually want to come in here to the very bottom of our top header text box so we drag this down to right there so that is the top drag this one down to the well, actually that was the bottom of the header <laughs> so that was the top of the sub and then we want to come down here but well, let's get rid of that one and let's actually click on this one here I want to make it smaller so about right up in there looks good I want to come over and drag out another one to here. Okay, so now we have the bottom of our header, the top and bottom of our subheader. We don't really need the top of our header because the top of our header basically meets up in there. So, and then we can come over here. Let's go ahead and zoom out of this. There we go. So now we can come over here and we can add in a sub. So, uh, like I said, you can come over here and make it really easy for you and just drag this over uh, we can do that now and then just come over here and rename this to um, let's see here um, about me and then let's come over here and we're going to also drag this one over by holding down alt and we're going to rename this information and I don't want to do no updates right now so this is our information section so now we come up here click layout update layout choose yes so now we've got our information and then our about me and that's uh, coming in off from our our B page which is the reason for are number four right here in Roman numerals, which I've always enjoyed Roman numerals. Okay, let's say that uh, you want to make your guides to where they show up on every page in this location, and that you want uh, to where they're going to be so that you can add in a sub or a header and they can be where they need to be at. So what we can do here is we can select these two here, copy them, Okay, let's come over here to our, our master, click on it, and then let's just paste that here, and we're going to drag it up, it's going to automatically snap it there for us, then we can come over here and we can drag this down, and uh, we can also scroll in to make sure that we're getting it exactly where it needs to be at, and that looks good to me. And we're going to drag this one down to the top. 
drag this one down and put it there. Okay, so now uh, we can go back out and we can remove them two. So now inside of all of our, since this is our master page, we can come inside of our master and it's automatically going to have it on every one of them. So now we can come over here and we can line this up where it needs to be at instead of where it is right now which is really really not where it's supposed to be at so let's grab a hold of this one move it up and that looks good and then let's move this one up and shrink it down to there so now both of them are where they supposed to be at and then we can do the same thing here let's drag this down to its position okay so now our subs go here and our headers go above and then that way everything is uniformed within our project and we don't have to worry about nothing so it sort of it makes it really really nice and really easy to work with so that's what your guides can do you can set your guides to where you know exactly where you want uh, your objects to go uh, so we can come over here <clears throat> excuse me make this a little bit smaller drag it down just a little bit that looks good and let's say that we want to add in a guide so that we can have an image over here as well so what we can do is we can come down drag the guide to right here top of the image and then come over here and drag one down to the bottom of this image so now we can come over and we can choose uh, control or command D and then come into our pictures and we can grab a hold of this castle here open it up and then we can place our castle right there so and it goes in almost in the same place everything looks good so it's a really good way to line up your images and have them in the right place Wayne Brown here with darkfix.net y'all have a good one now bye bye